it's Chris Crafter. I'm going to show you how to do tuck stitch with my new Needle Beetle Needle Selector. First you have your work on the machine and all needles are in B position. And you're going to select the first eight needles in whatever pattern you choose. In this case it's just a one by one, one in one out kind of thing. So you can see there's four in B, four in C position. Then you take your handy dandy little needle beetle with the little metal slide. It's going to slide the needles down to D position and it's going to copy your first eight needles all the way across. Holding my hand down by the work, push it across, they're all selected. Now with your carriage, I'm going to do three rows with my carriage set to tuck stitch. One, two, three. Switch it back to stockinette on both sides. Do one row. Then we're going to repeat the same thing. Push those first eight needles into an arrangement. Four in B, four in C. Put on the needle beetle. Slide across. They're all selected. Again, set our carriage to tuck stitch. Knit three rows. Then we're going to reset our carriage here for stockinette. Make sure you get both sides, knit one row. I love tuck stitch. I love it with thinner yarns because it looks like lace. The needle beetle can be used to create tuck stitch, slip, fair isle, and lace stitches. It works on the LK 150, 140, 100, and a Japanese machine, GK370. For ordering or information, go to chriscrafter.com. Thanks for watching.